business news now where the Kenya Aviation Union has said it will go on strike starting early next week to protest the proposed deal with India's Adani Airport Holdings for concession and to develop Nairobi's Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. The Aviation Workers Union argues that the deal would result in job losses and bring in foreign workers. They have termed it as unlawful intended sale of JKIA. The strike could severely disrupt airline and other operations at the airport, a major travel hub in the region. The government has stated that the airport is not for sale and that no final agreement has been made regarding the public-private partnership with Adani Holdings. Today, we have served them with a formal notice. One of the key demands is that we are not willing to surrender JKIA to Adani. And if Adani are anywhere where they can hear what I'm saying and what these workers are saying, is that they will never step foot on JKIA. Never. 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 Uh, we need to tell the country this, that between 2021 and 2023, the government of Kenya, through the Ministry of Treasury, has collected a total of 25 billion shillings from KEE. That money is more than enough to construct a fully fledged a terminal, not just one terminal, even two terminals, or a terminal and a runway. If the 25 billion was plowed back into KAA, we would be having a terminal and a runway. The latest terminal we have here today, it, it, it cost KAA 7 billion. Moving on, Equity Group Holdings PLC 